This episode is sponsored by Honey Badger. In addition to Honey Badger's great error monitoring service, they also have an uptime monitoring for web developers. And Honey Badger has recently shipped an update that allows for public status pages that can help communicate outages to your customers. In addition to your uptime monitoring, Honey Badger now monitors your SSL certificates. And Honey Badger now has actions which will allow you to do bulk updates to all your errors, or you can set defaults for incoming errors. Working with HEIC files can be a pain because they're not supported on browsers and they're still not supported to this day. However, using active storage and the variants, we're able to then convert these images over into something that the browser can read. So I'll take one of these HEIC files that's common on Apple devices and we'll create a photo and you'll see that we got several different variants. And with each variant, we're doing something a little bit different. The first one, we have a thumbnail and I've reduced the quality because we don't need this to be a really high quality image. We want to just deliver it to the end user as fast as possible. So reducing the quality size is going to make a big difference there. We then have a normal image, just scaled down a bit. We then have a repeating background overlaying the image. And then we have a watermark down on the bottom left hand side. So we're going to be looking at each one of these use cases within a Rails application in this episode. And we're also going to be doing this with Active Storage, the Image Processing Gem, and VIPs. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.